the universe is expanding, so you have to be more and more careful about what happens in each thing because you want to make sure that, you know, you're setting up whatever they're going to do in the Avengers um, and Secret Wars and all that stuff. Can you? I got it. The MCU has been moving towards greater diversity and representation. Mm -hmm. Your three leads represent a huge population of the planet plus you. What impact do you hope your film will have on audiences given your unique position and contribution? I mean, yeah, it's really exciting to have three very different women at the center of the film and to have, you know, supporting characters who are so interesting and, and dynamic and different as well. I really hope people want to see more of them in, in the MCU because I think they're so special. Miss Marvel was actually someone who I loved from the comics, so being able to bring her to the big screen was really huge for me. Um, so I really hope that there's a, you know, a long life for these guys uh, uh, in, in the cinematic universe. With such dynamic and distinct characters like Carol Danvers, Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan, how did you approach unifying their stories while honouring their individual journeys in the Marvels? It was really for me, achieving that was about making sure that their individual stories impacted each other so that them sort of overcoming their own individual issues was instrumental in them connecting and vice versa. So them connecting more and getting closer and reconciling their issues with each other was also helping their individual journeys. For me, the thought was that if we could get that right, then we could honor them all and also include a lot about them. Given that the Marvels is part of the larger phase five of the MCU, did you factor mm -hmm. in the larger stage for future narratives or were mm -hmm. you not seen on that ever expanding universe? I really tried to let Marvel lead me in that way because they have this big plan. The universe is expanding, so you have to be more and more careful about what happens in each thing because you want to make sure that you know, you're setting up whatever they're going to do in the Avengers um, and Secret Wars and all that stuff. I really leaned on them to, to guide, like, okay, what would be possible in this movie? What was going to be okay? And what could we keep? Or what should we stay away from in order to make sure the overall arching story worked? The film serves as a convergence point for various strands of the MCU, mm. particularly following Captain Marvel and the Miss Marvel miniseries. Did you navigate the complexity for, complexities of integrating these narratives into a cohesive sequel? For sure, yeah. I mean, I think because this was, you know, Captain Marvel 2, but it's also the Marvels, I wanted to make sure that we learned a lot about Carol that we didn't learn before. You know, in the first film, she has no memory. And then by the time she gets it, we kind of, or starts to get it back, we kind of, you know, move into the next phase. And then it's 30 years later and she's, you know, beating up Thanos and crashing through ships. And we don't really get time to pause and learn who she is. So I wanted to make sure that we got a look into her past. Um, we got to visit places she's, she'd been, meet people who knew her in that in those intervening years, while also thrusting Kamala and Monica into this into her life. So it ends up being about all three of them, but it's you know Carol's life that sort of is the thrust of the story, um, as well as the Khan family being you know a really important part of like the, the heart of the film. That was that was sort of the the task I think for me in this movie. I'm so glad to know that you know you actually weaved a Carol story into this as well. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, superhero films often touch on larger themes alongside their action-packed plots. Mm -hmm. Are there any particular themes or messages you aim to weave into the fabric of the Marvels? Yeah, I think for me, and this goes again into like wanting to know who Carol was when she wasn't like saving the world and and knowing what it really felt like for her to be to feel as though she had the weight of the world on her shoulder, or the universe really on her shoulders, was the importance of family and, and how family is what helps you have the strength to take on the world. And that's why, you know, her and Monica's relationship is so important in the movie and why the Khan family is so important in the film. Thematically, that was something I was really passionate about.